Hey everybody, Arthur here with another vintage toy review. Today we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 Wingnut and Screw Loose. And uh, I ended up picking these guys up from uh, Lost Toys. I ordered it through their website. You guys probably saw the video where I was disappointed on how it was shipped. But I ended up picking them up. One, because I did have him as a child and... He was one of my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures, so I had to get him back. But also, a fellow collector and subscriber said, hey, you know, I can't wait until you do this bat do review or whatever. You get a hold of him, and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, you know what? I need to hunt him down and get him quick because I want to do this review, you know? So he comes with a bunch of accessories, and uh, I don't even know where to begin. So he comes with his belt. I took it off. Um, his belt just plugs right in to the little hole and he has a little bat face on it, a little pouch, a little sticks of dynamite with the timer. Then it gets like a weird texture going where he has like a spike coming out. looks like little pouches, weird circle thing. Then he actually has a bat, which is different so he is a bat but you know he has a bat attached to his belt another pouch some bullets it looks like and uh this is just it's just really cool because it is like the bat utility belt it's in that yellow color and everything and then uh he comes with a hand grenade or a wing nut grenade however you want to classify it. it has a w there Really sculpted really well. And then he also comes with his, looks like a bat face on the front, but a bat revolver or a wingnut revolver because it does have his logo on the side too. All cast in that same yellow plastic and it's just a really cool looking pistol. Something you'd see almost in like Destiny or something like that. And then, you know, you can't be a bat without his wings. He comes with a pair of wings and they're made out of like scrap metal looks like he has like two thrusters on each side that could be made out of garbage cans and then he has his real wings in there um hidden underneath it looks like they're a little bit tore up so these are like artificial wings it looks like there's guns at the tip right there and this is really really awesome i wish they would have painted the back part brown but definitely a lot of love into this Sculpt work. I mean, look at this. You have the wing, the original wing underneath. You have like the metal straps, or they could be leather. I mean, I, I would assume they're like metal or something. Uh, but just looks great. Looks really good. But I'll attach those later. Let's dive into, well, let's say him. We'll look at Screw Loose. So this guy is a little skeeter. He is a mosquito. Um, he's a little slimy because of the plastic. I need to wash him. So you see little fuzzes on him and stuff because he's just sort of gross feeling right now. But he has his tongue hanging out, teeth showing. He's googly eyed, all crazy, bent up nose, little spikes. Like, is this really cool? Like, all the detail in the wings. Gave him like little like cowboy boots, little belly button, everything. I just really like the look and design of this guy. It's just, it's awesome. It's like a little, you know, Batman and Robin in a sense, you know, wing nut and screw loose. And, you know, straight up, when you guys look at him, you know, you know what inspired this. Like, look at the colors and everything. This is straight up Batman. Like, mutant bat Batman. Like, or some guy that was cosplaying mutated into Batman. But still, uh, it's a little weird that this one, this little, you know, side piece right here is not painted yellow but this one is but let's take a really good close look at that mug of his love the little light airbrushing of the the pink first snout teeth his tongue hanging out eyeballs how the little cowl just wraps around his head really cool shoulder pads and articulation wise for his head just full rotation. Just like that. The veins and the ears and stuff. Again, like I feel like back when these toys were made, the 
artists that had a lot more like artistic freedom with the sculpts and stuff. Um, he does have the, uh, like, it's almost like weird. He has like two sets of shoulder pads, he has shoulder pads here. And then they, you know, go down and he has shoulder pads here, bunch of stuff and armor just all hooked up. His arms can go all the way around. Get his holding, got his holding hands. And then you got his pointing hand. You, hey, you, you bad guy. The W is nice and clean. Surprise is not scratched all the heck. A little collar to his suit. Again, I don't know why that's not yellow, but hey, that's what uh, had to happen back then, you know. Then his feet are all weird looking at little hooks and stuff. As a kid, I always tried to get him to hang on by these little hooks, and they just wouldn't work. Then he has the unpainted little little tail. Just a really fun figure. But let's get them all uh, geared up here. So the wings, very easy. They just clip right in. This one's a little bit looser than the other one, but that is okay. And then put his little, you can put these on either side, but eat the hand grenade can plug in right there. This pistol can be held or can actually plug this right into the wings as well. So he can fly and have his hands free. Then his belt's on the other hand. Wrap it around this, this dad bod of his. And let's get it to connect. So one thing with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and their belts, it just seems like, actually, I mean, I'd say toys back then with these types of belts, they just never really stayed on the way they should have. Because um, once you pop it out, <laughs> it seems like it's impossible to pop it back into place. So there we go. Probably not positioned the way I would like it, but hey, it's it's on there. It's connected. Let's get this pistol off here. Okay, that's not good. So he can't really like aim it straight because like he has to hold it. You can see he's barely holding on to it because his fingers, the handle's not long enough to curl underneath his fingers. So I'm wondering if it's better. Can I fit it in this other hand? I was trying all different things here. Okay, so you could have it, you could have it like that. That's that's alright. Oh, see his belt came undone. And even, even like I said, with like the G.I. Joes and stuff like that, back then they had belts and straps that did that stuff. Yeah, see how loose that wing is? Just wants to droop down. So, yeah, so, all right, so hand, the gun fits better in this hand. It can be held in this hand, but you guys saw that this finger just definitely blocks it. Um, but definitely a really, really awesome figure once you have all the accessories on it. Like, he is, this is really cool. Straight up Batman inspired bat guy, bat mutants with a sidekick that is a mosquito. I guess they're doing the whole thing. Bats drink blood. So let's have his partner be a mosquito who drinks blood as well. And it's, it's, it works great. I'm so glad to have him into this, into my collection and to, uh, continue to build up what I used to have for my, uh, teenage mutant ninja turtle collection. So that sums up my figure review of Wingnut and Screw Loose. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And make sure you guys stay up to date on your latest collectibles by checking out Toy Code Toys and Collectibles. Facebook group is down below if you haven't joined in already. And, you know, the website link is down below. So take a look at what they have. And if you guys see something that you like, don't forget to put in the promo code UnboxToyCo. Save yourself 5% off the entire purchase. 
Thanks again. Good luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.